Hi, I'm Pinefresh Guy, and in this video, I'm going to be covering wall jumping basics in the racing game Distance. This video is purely for people brand new to the game, so if you've been playing this loads and loads, you probably won't learn much new here today. All the relevant information I'll put in the description below, and my keybinds you'll see at the bottom right, they're not the default keybinds. I basically couldn't get on with the default keybind, so I changed it to something more comfortable um, for me. I may do another video on it at some point, but I'm not sure. So I'm basically going to be starting from a spot in Repulsion. This is in the very first adventure campaign you do in the game. It introduces the grip function, which is the boost down function. And just so you know, I'll be destroying my car shortly after each demonstration. So it's just to make out that, like it's just, yeah, it's just to make sure that I spawn at the same spot each time. So just FYI, that's why I'm doing it. So for me personally, there are two basic ways to jump onto a wall. The first one, really simple. It's exactly what they say in the tutorial. You go at the right distance along the wall, you jump an air roll and you go onto it, right? So it looks something like this, if it wants to start. Why is it not starting? Like this. Yeah, really simple, just like that, right? So going along, get, get kind of closest to the wall, jump, air roll or jet roll, and you'll go onto the wall. The issue I was finding is, especially when you're going through obstacles beforehand and you can't get to that distance, so many times I would kind of jump and then go into oblivion like this and end up dying. So I start to realize that if you angle the car slightly in about 30 degrees, basically towards the wall a bit, you will always make the jump. So if you kind of go 30 degrees, jump like that, you're always going to make it. Yeah, so you're going along, angle in, jump, air roll. See, and then even then, uh, you might hit the car a bit, but you're still gonna make it onto the wall. So angle in, you know, jump, air roll. And you can get onto it like that. So that's the very first way. So it's kind of, you know, a variation on what they say in the tutorial. Now the second way is to jump, air roll, and boost down. That's using the grip function. So that looks like something like this. Uh, jump, air roll, and boost down. And one more time, basically you're jumping, air roll, and then boost down. This is really good because if you're, for whatever reason, whatever you've done before on the track, if you're really far away from it, you can still basically get onto the wall. So even if I'm all the way over here, I can jump, you know, air roll and boost down and still make it onto the wall. Uh, so this is really useful. I found this really useful. Um, obviously with both of these, with the air rolls or the, or the jet rolls, make sure you're going the right way so you've obviously got the the right air roll and the left one the right one's gonna kind of turn you that way the left one's gonna turn you that way if you're going onto the wall on the left you're gonna be using your right one and you know vice versa so yeah I thought I'd make a quick video about this because this is something that kind of annoyed me when I first started playing and I was like why can't I get it right so it is kind of you know if you angle in slightly you'll never miss it and then yeah if you grip down as well you'll definitely never miss it Cool, so thanks for watching. If you found this video useful or enjoyed it, feel free to like it and subscribe because hashtag YouTube. I may do a series of these videos, uh, but I'm not too sure at the moment. I'll see how it goes. Cool, peace out.